How much do you know about Minecraft Legends, the brand new game that got announced last year? Well guess what, it's got its release date and I'm here to deliver even more information so you can decide whether or not it might be something for you to try in the future. My name's Jade, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about Minecraft Legends right now. So straight away, 18th of April, that's when you're going to be able to play Minecraft Legends. It's going to be available across all platforms, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox and PC, but of course it will be free with Xbox on Games Pass. The game will also be available on Steam, not its own Minecraft launcher, but available on different types of PC platforms. So what is Minecraft Legends? Where well, is a strategy game with a big difference? You will control a hero. This hero can run around these overworlds and you've got to basically defend the world from piglins who have managed to find a way to come through portals and are trying to take and destroy the world. You'll have to unite mobs that you previously would always be battling against to help you and there's going to be a selection of brand new creatures added too, with a whole ton of variations of your favourite mobs. The allies are going to be one of your primary creatures that will be on your side. As you gather resources, you'll find mineral deposits like diamonds, redstone and more and you'll use the allay to gather them resources. Once you've got enough resources, you'll be able to craft all sorts of fort constructions as well as spawners to help bring in mobs to help you fight against the piglins. As you explore, you'll come across piglin fortresses that you'll have to then go and attack and basically break it up, directing your mobs to full frontal assault on different parts of their fortresses. You may also have to defend certain areas and stop the villages being overrun by the piglins. Everything from villagers to creepers and brand new variations of golems. You'll come across a whole bunch of mobs that previously you'd be running from and now they'll become your friends. You won't have to do anything, they're not hostile towards you in Minecraft Legends. You simply have to go and befriend them so they can join your battle. Now Minecraft Legends is procedurally generated so no playthrough is ever going to be the same. You'll have different encounters and different style maps and obviously the biomes will all be composited very differently. This will affect how many types of resources you're able to gather in quick succession. You might have to change your strategy and go something a bit different. Your hero character isn't massively strong. It's meant to be there as a support class. You're not meant to be doing the bulk of the combat yourself. You're meant to direct your followers to take on the piglins. Piglins themselves, of course, have got lots of variants and lots of different types, and these will have to be combated against using all sorts of strategies. When it comes to the building, you won't be doing it block by block. Instead, you'll be able to go ahead and put different types of armaments and buildings down and they'll slowly build up on their own. This will free up for you so you can patrol and make sure you're getting more resources or directing your mobs to go and help you out. There will be special PvP. You can play with your friends in teams of four versus four and you'll be actually directly going against the other players, trying to take on their villages that they'll be constructing and hoping to break their defences down. The piglins and other creatures will still be spawning on these maps, but you will still additionally have to then take on each other. Blue team and orange team, you'll be constructing massive fortifications, trying out all sorts of strategies while you go and fight over resources that you might come across. So it looks like there's going to be different stages. First stage of going out and exploring, gathering resources, finding mobs to befriend. The second stage will be about scoping out somewhere that you can defend or places that you'll have to keep track of to maybe take out later like the Piglin Fortresses. Then it's about setting up what groups you want to attack at the right time or making sure you've got enough defences and building them up. Then the battles actually begin and Minecraft Legends really gets good. Working out which kind of mobs to hold back and wait at certain locations, what ones are going to be strong against weak points or defences, or making sure that your mobs can outmatch mobs that you're facing against. As said, there's going to be a whole ton of different variations of golems you've come to know and love. Some directly are going to be vanilla ones transported from Minecraft, but many more will be brand new or mixed up. In terms of golems, these are one of the main forces you'll be using. There's various different ones, some that can heal you, like the mossy golem. You've got grindstone golems that will pretty much be your cavalry and charge in to deal and stun or knock over the piglin forces. Plank golems, that will be firing loads of arrows and basically your ranger class. And then last example is the cobblestone golems that will be used to brute force your way through fortifications and the piglin bases or other players. 
There's a lot more mobs to be going over, but I'll save that for future videos. What also you need to know is that crossplay is going to be enabled across all different platforms as well as cross progression. So if you're playing on an Xbox One, you want to play with your friend on a Series X or S, you will be able to do so. I'm really looking forward to Minecraft Legends. One of my first videos to ever get a million views on my other bigger survival channel was Minecraft on how to do crossplay. And I really enjoyed playing Minecraft Dungeons, which I've done a bunch of guides on my other channel as well. But here on Jcraft, this will be a little bit of a focus for me when it releases. I really like the look of this, mixing up RTS with familiar stuff that we're used to and really hopefully destroying as many of these little piggies as we can. I can't wait to delve deeper. I'm going to relay everything they do now in terms of blogs. And they've been doing that quite recently with lots of dev diaries and more. And so, yeah, look out for the best place for guides, especially and gameplay. Check out my channel. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you right back for more Minecraft Legends soon.